Right. Let's learn subtraction in algebra. As we have learned two methods of addition, there are similar two methods for subtraction also. First is tower method and another is horizontal method. Okay, so before we proceed, I would like to discuss something with you. So let me write one thing. Subtract two from four. How do we write this? We write this four and then we write negative of two minus two which is equal to 2. But in algebra, we have expressions something like this. 2x plus 4y minus 3z equal to 0. We have few plus signs and few minus signs all in one equation or all in one expression. So we have to know that what happens to these signs when we subtract one expression from another. Okay. So what we do in normal mathematics? If we have to subtract 2 from 4, so we write 4. We are just discussing method. So we write 4 and then we write negative of 2. Okay. Here this 2 is a positive number and then if we want to subtract this 2 from 4 we write negative of 2 okay so this is the way we subtract normally when we deal with numbers but in algebra our problem is a bit complex there in every expression we may have all positive or all negative and we may have combination of positive and negative signs right so what I want to discuss is what happens to these signs when we subtract one expression to one expression from another expression okay so let me erase this area again because it's not it will not be required later let me write one more thing there is some person a and there is one person B. A had 100 rupees. Okay. And B had nothing. Right. Now A gives 10 rupees to B as a loan. Okay. This is loan. A gives 10 rupees as loan to person B. Now, how much money does A have? If it is a loan, that means B has to return this money to A. So, how much money does A have now? At present, A has, A has 90 rupees and assuming that B has spent this money He has spent this money and now again he has 0 because after taking loan he had 10 but he has spent this money so now he has 0. Okay. Now what is the situation? At this point of time B actually has a loan of 10 rupees right? because this 10 rupees B had taken B had taken from a. So, what is the balance sheet of B? B has minus 10 rupees and A has 90 rupees plus okay, a negative loan of negative loan of loan means minus 10 a negative loan because why negative loan because he has given these 10 rupees to B and at one point of time he will get it back so A has negative negative 
lone let me change the color so that it becomes a bit clear for you this is lone loan is negative b had a loan of 10 rupees so we have represented it as minus 10 and a has negative loan of 10 rupees why negative loan because he has given this money to b okay he has given this money to b what is the loan amount 10 rupees loan is represented as negative money so he actually has 90 plus plus 10 which he has given to B so he actually has 100 rupees okay so what we learn from this is when we subtract B the positive thing becomes negative and negative term becomes positive Okay, as we have subtracted, it is, we have subtracted negative loan, which is nothing but the money given to somebody and it will come back. So negative, negative becomes positive. We can conclude something from this. Negative and negative becomes positive. Positive and negative becomes negative okay and as we have learned in last lesson positive and positive is positive okay so these this is the so these are the conversion of conversions of science which happen while we do addition subtraction multiplication or division Okay. In multiplication division also we are going to use this. I will be referring the same thing there also. But this is only for learning subtraction as of now. So let us clear our slate again and then we learn about subtraction. So now let us take two expressions. Let me write 6x plus 3y plus 7z equal to 0 and we have to subtract 3x plus 8y plus z equal to 0 from the first equation. Let us call this first equation and let us call this as second equation. So when we want to subtract what we do we, in column method we first write our first equation as it is. So what we are doing let us write here 1 minus 2. This is equation 1 and this is equation 2. We are subtracting equation 2 from equation 1 using column method. So what we will do? We will just write our first equation as it is 6x plus 3y plus 7z equal to 0 and exactly below our first equation we will write our second equation which is 3x plus 8y plus z equal to 0. Now what we need to do? We are actually subtracting this second equation from this equation. So, the signs will change. When we subtract, the signs gets changed. 3x, no sign before this. 
okay that means it is positive sign and we are sub if we are subtracting it will become negative this is positive sign before 8y okay so this will and if you are subtracting this 8y from 3y it will become negative 8y similarly this plus sign will also get converted into negative and here since both the right hand sides are zero it doesn't matter and even if there is one number any number on the right hand side of any equation of the second equation it will change sign okay now what we have to do we have to just add because the subtraction sign we have already considered and changed the sign signs in second equation so this will become 6 minus 3 that is 3 x here it's 3 minus 8 that means we have to subtract smaller number that is 3 from the bigger number 8 and keep the sign of the bigger number which is negative so it will be minus 8 minus 3 5 y and again it is 7 z minus z that is 7 minus 1 6 and the sign of the bigger number is plus so plus 6 z equal to sign 0 if you subtract 3 x plus 8y plus z equal to 0 from 6x plus 3y plus 7z equal to 0 we'll get 3x minus 5y plus 6z equal to 0 so let's revise it again what we have done first we'll write the first equation then we will rearrange the second equation and align the terms in same column like the terms with same variable part should be in the same column like 6x and 3x are in the same column 3y and 8y are also in the same column 7z and z they are also in the same column equal to sign should be in one column and the constant part should also be in one column and then we will change the signs of the second equation which is supposed to be subtracted from the first equation so 3x was positive signs gets cha sign gets changed into negative this positive also gets changed into negative this positive also gets changed into negative and the right hand side we didn't have any constant as such they were zero so it doesn't matter whether we should change the sign or not but the signs are supposed to be changed over there also okay like this was positive zero so we made it negative zero though it doesn't matter with zero the sign doesn't matter with zero but that is the procedure we have to change the sign on the for every each and every term of the second equation which is supposed to be subtracted and then after that we just consider the signs and do a normal operation like 6 minus 6x minus 3x so 6 minus 3 is 3 x 3 minus 8 so 8 is a bigger number than 3 so we have subtracted 3 from 8 and kept the sign of 8 that is negative so which is minus 5 so if we subtract 3y sorry if we subtract 8y from 3y we'll get 5y and if we subtract z from 7z we'll get 6z so this was tower method now let's discuss another method which is horizontal method in this method also it's same as we learnt in addition here also first we'll write a first equation which is 6x plus 3y plus 
z we have written the left hand side of the first equation we have to subtract 3x plus 8y plus z from this and the right hand side is right hand side of the first equation minus the right hand side of the second equation so it will become 6 x plus 3y plus 7z this minus sign outside 3x no sign so minus plus minus 3x similarly minus and plus minus 8y minus plus minus z equal to 0 minus 0 0 and now the same thing what we do we have to search for the like terms that is 6x and minus 3x okay so what will be 6x minus 3x is 3x then we have 3y minus 8y so bigger term is minus 8 so subtract smaller term from the bigger term that is 8 minus 3 and keep the sign of the bigger term that is minus 5y then we have 7z and z so 7 minus 7z minus z is plus 6z equal to 0 so as we can see we got same answer by using both the methods.